chapter. We've been talking about the kings and the rulers so far. Now we switch to the priests and Levites. So we're going to ask them to come forward, our spiritual leaders, as they come on the platform right now. They're flanked on the beginning and the end by attorneys. And there's a reason for that. Because I want to describe to you who these priests and Levites are that are coming right now. Uh, we, we haven't been doing introductions, but we're going to stop for just a moment because you know just need to know a few things about. We'll start with a, a prayer of an attorney. And there's a reason for that. This gentleman here, Dennis Hodges, has been serving in San Diego on the Human Relations Board. But when it came to a vote on transgenderism, he abstained. He didn't vote against it. He abstained. And so a movement came to try to throw him off the board. They needed 13 votes. They got 10 of those. Then he was on the Citizen Advisory Board. He's a respected pastor, former law enforcement, worked in the prison system, highly respected in our city. But he quoted Deuteronomy 22.5, that a man shouldn't wear women's clothes. So consequently, the mayor has kicked him off of the Citizen Advisory Board and is a case in court right now. Cheon, pastors in Pasadena, he has faced all kinds of fines. He was facing imprisonment himself. They were going to lock him up for a year. They were going to fine every one of his members $1,000 per member per day in his church and arrest his staff. That's what he's faced. Art Hodges, the church that took it on the offensive. They went after the government when the government shut them down. The result was 11 federal court rulings all the way to the Supreme Court. Both these have been to the Supreme Court. A million dollars in attorney's fees as a result. Mike McClure, also California, facing right now 4.2 million in fines. They're still not backing off, accusing them of causing COVID, the spread of COVID. They, put, they actually geofenced his neighbors, illegal, his, his parishioners, illegally. And, and they have not been able to find one case of COVID that came from his church. Yet it continues. These men of God are going to lead you in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, uh, we come corporately, contrite in spirit, asking for forgiveness and mercy for your church. We repent for abandoning the culture and our elected representatives in the public square. We repent for abandoning our religious liberty back in 2020 voluntarily and allowing fear to convince us that the fellowship of believers is non-essential, that your holy church is non-essential to the health of this nation. But God, we know a healthy church is important to the health of this nation. We repent for failing to lead this nation while allowing evil doctrines to invade not only the government, but our public schools and unfortunately in many instances, the church itself. Please rebuke the false teachings and spiritual abuse that too often infects our very body. Lord, bring revival in our spirit and purify your saints so that we would be the radiant church you desire at your return, one that is holy and blameless. In Jesus' name. 